What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka Allfires. Now we got a huge update today as far as what's going on with Doctor Strange 3 and who the director may be. I don't think it's going to come as a surprise to any of you and I think maybe the bigger implication is where it's going to fall and during the multiverse saga because of the storylines and the threads that we'll be following and through the end into the Avengers Secret Wars culmination event, it seems like we might already know Doctor Strange's fate drawing directly from the comic book story which we'll touch on. We're Breaking down the latest announcement though, who's probably going to be helming up? Doctor Strange 3, but first, if you could, quick reminder, we do daily Marvel content at the channel. That's all we do, so if that sort of thing's for you, hit the sub button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway, which is in just a couple of weeks with the finale for Agatha All Along. Again, all you gotta do be a sub, leave a comment if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so this is the latest from Industry Insider Jeff Snyder. Again, guys, this is the dude who nailed Robert Downey Jr. returning as Doctor Doom a month before it was announced, so we know it at least to that source of his is extremely accurate. He just posted this headline under his newsletter on the Insider. You guys can follow him on the Insider.com. Hot rumor, Sam Raimi nearing deal to direct Doctor Strange 3 for Marvel, where he goes on to report, quote, It's been a little quiet lately on the Marvel front, but I hear that the studio has all but closed a deal with Sam Raimi for him to direct Doctor Strange 3. Scott Derrickson directed the first Doctor Strange movie, which grossed $677 million, while Sam Raimi's 2022 sequel, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, grossed $955 Translation, Marvel is going to make more Doctor Strange movies because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Plus, Iron Man, Ant-Man, and the Guardians of the Galaxy were all guaranteed three movies. Chris Evans starred in three movies with Captain America title. Chris Hemsworth Thor had four movies. Tom Holland's Spider-Man is also getting a fourth movie. But Benedict Cumberbatch's Doctor Strange only has two. He basically is pointing out that it was a given they were going to do three. And the fact that Raimi almost made a billion dollars with the second one pretty much is locking him up for this. He goes on to also point out though that quote, in July, Raimi signed on to direct and produce horror thriller Send Help, which was described as a two-hander a la Misery, albeit set on a remote island a la Castaway. It's unclear whether Raimi plans to hustle that movie into production ahead of Doctor Strange 3, given the long road that that blockbuster will need, or will put Send Help on the back burner to focus on the Marvel sequel. Quote, but I am told that Raimi is definitely coming back which is no surprise as he really seemed to enjoy working with Marvel as opposed to other filmmakers who have struggled to adapt the studio's process. Now, much like Jeff Snyder indicates in during this article, it was pretty much always a given they were going to do a third Doctor Strange. Just look at how they handle franchises and Sam Raimi was probably always the number one bet to take that spot. But more interesting now is the timing of this announcement and what's left on the Marvel schedule. Look, we've been saying at the channel since day one, it was most likely Shang-Chi 2, Thor 5, or Doctor Strange 3 that might get one of the last release dates in between the two Avengers films. We're definitely going to get Shang-Chi 2. It's just going to be further down the road now that Destin Daniel Cretton is working on Spider-Man 4. Incidentally, Spider-Man 4 has found its date in summer of 2026, which leaves all of fall 2026 open for them to be able to release this film, which means if they can get through the script and get it into production by, say, next year's summer, that's more than enough time for them to be able to put this film out. So my bet would be now on Doctor Strange 3 occupying one of the last or not the last slot in between the two Avengers films. That's if Marvel's not going to add one in 2027 in the early spring, say, like they did with Captain Marvel and Avengers Endgame, but I'm betting Marvel wants to leave that wide open. Their whole MO now is sort of scaling back on the number of projects they're doing or as Kevin Feige recently said, just simply slowing their cadence. Now stepping from behind the camera and actually into the storyline itself, Doctor Strange 3 also makes sense from that point of view. And if you've read 2015 Jonathan Hickman's Secret Wars run, then you'll know exactly why Doctor Strange having to get a third movie in before his appearance in Avengers Secret Wars is important because there's a really good chance that Secret Wars is going to be his last. This is where I will issue the lightest of spoiler warning in case you don't know that storyline or don't want to know that storyline. Doctor Strange actually ends up getting killed at the hands of Doctor Doom. Well, I should call him Sheriff Strange at the hands of Doctor Doom because he confronts Doom in asking him how Reed Richards would like it that he stole his wife and children in that reality, which is one of the things that Doctor Doom does. It's one of the most messed up things ever in comics. That's when Doom ends up killing him. Now, without spoiling it further than that, that's not the end of Doctor Strange's role in that film, but 
you got to remember with this soft reboot of the MCU, there's going to be on ramps for say Sony's multiverse to finally merge and then stop doing Spider-Man rogues gallery movies without a Spider-Man, but there's going to be off ramps too. And that doesn't mean that every Marvel actor that we've got is going to retire. In fact, quite the opposite. Daniel Rickman indicates the guy who's been doing it the longest, Hugh Jackman might actually stick around for future X-Men movies, but there are going to be some actors who for a couple of reasons, probably need to end their run in the MCU. I mean, shoot, you can't have Doomsday and Secret Wars without any of the important characters dying in for good with no stakes. And on top of that, some of these actors probably want to move on with their careers after being sort of tied to one studio and franchise for 20 plus. Now, look, we have a ton of time, three years plus, to discuss who we think isn't going to make it out of the multiverse saga. But I would not be surprised at all if the actors that have been around the longest, like Chris Hemsworth or Jeremy Renner, or Benedict Cumberbatch somehow say that this is their last hurrah and either end up being killed off or not showing up again in Marvel movies. Because really too, when the multiverse saga is done, so is all this variance and cameo stuff. Look, that's been really fun over the last five years. People have complained about it, but you can't admit that seeing Wesley Snipes come back as Blade wasn't absolutely awesome. And there's still probably a lot of that to come. But when the multiverse saga is done, they're going to focus on the one timeline with the mutant saga and keep it inclusive. So these sort of fan favorite cameos and guessing who's going to return, those days will be behind us. So if it's the last hurrah for some of these OG Avengers, it truly may be the last hurrah. You guys let me know, though, all your thoughts down below how hype you are to see Sam Raimi return, what you want to see from the Doctor Strange 3 film. And while I've always thought he sort of handles the grotesque uh, very well. Uh, unfortunately, I think Marvel's probably going to need this to be a lot more of a multiverse movie than a horror movie, but that's probably okay too. And he's one of the guys who's handled one of the multiverse movies so far in the MCU, so no better name to pick up for it. You guys let me know your thoughts down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we are still giving away PlayStation 5s here at the channel. The next one is at the end of the month for the finale of Agatha All Along. If you want to be entered to win or for any of the future giveaways here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below and because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be selected when there is a winning comment, live with my voice and shown on screen at the end segment of the video, so please be safe and vigilant on YouTube or any platform. If you should get someone trying to scam you, please just report them directly to YouTube. YouTube will delete that account rather fast. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at IamFires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, under the name AllFires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.